Like I started can. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got a protractor on the box. He's just like, I gotta figure this out. So I guess this will be exciting. I guess we'll we'll learn a lot early on. But uh, I'm always sure that Samus is uh, one of Fox's only losing matchups, even before all of like the the Samus. Pro I mean, the Marth propaganda. Huh. Uh, I, that was one of my favorite crush opinions, where it was like Samus just outright beats Fox. <laughs> I remember that was definitely during the High Leffen era. Yeah, and I think this, we're seeing Shavo work the platforms a lot right now, which I think is going to be pretty standard. Yeah. I think it's just a very solid way of getting around Samus. What I'm really going to enjoy seeing is, like, the very precise movements on the Kellogg's controller from 13 Steel Gun. Because I'm already seeing the Samus move in, like, very strange, precise ways. This is the first box Samus I have ever seen. Yeah. So like, I'm also Those wave interested. dashes seem illegal. Oh. That's an edge guard situation. Yeah. That's not the direction you want if you're Samus, but... Did you see that SDI? Oh, Normally they, I'd be impressed. This is going to be a banger. Yeah, he's typing a storm, I can tell. <laughs> There's an essay going on. Oh, good. He's got 500 words due by the end of this game. That platform movement looks unnatural. She looks tasked. Do you think this is like a covert agent to try and get boxes banned? This might be. I could see that. Yeah, he's like, I just, it's like a YouTube video. Like, I, this is how I got top eight at Kilroy Volume yeah. 6. Melee community having a broken Fox Box player, they sleep. But if there's a broken mid tier, uh, it would get banned in a heartbeat. Yeah. Can't be having Samus win nationals. As soon as they saw that it was going to be streamed on Twitch.tv slash Mango, they're like, I know what I have to do. <laughs> it's the side up against the mid tiers. Again, though, Shabo, you know, some might call this camping. Some might just call it defensive play, but... Shabo doesn't carry the wreck. Yeah. Shabo, Shabo has the prize pool calculations in his head. He's like, I need this. You think he can hear the hate through that hood? No. No, he absolutely can't. That's not. why he has it. No. It's like those uh, those sweatshirts with like the sleeves cut off that people wear at the gym. It's like, no, I can only focus on my workout. That's what Shabo's doing. Well, not much on the edge guarding front from 13 Steel Duck, but Shabo's also been doing a good job of recovering as well. Going high. Yeah, I'm Good surprised coverage. Samus can get there. That's a that's a read, I think. Oh, Ooh. going straight at. That's great. Now you want to babysit Samus and make her burn some options, but I guess he gets turned around. I like that option of the light shield slide off with the air. Yeah. I think that's pretty good against the sharking attempts. Just running in with a dash attack is, is very bold. I feel like 13 Steel Dog is like, I've never heard of you, Shabo. I don't care. Ha. Every fox is the same when you get down smashed. <laughs> yeah, when you're in the middle of a combo, it's just a fox. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, Shabo is committed to staying on these plats until 13 Steel Duck comes to him. And then he's like, cool, now I can shark you. I'll go back to the ground floor. Now you now you don't get to play the game. And it's still not prohibitively long, which is not... Oh, goodness, get just off a jumper. Me. Yeah. Just yeah. Nice. That is just so tough of a situation for Samus to be because, you know, Fox can react. <laughs> Fox can just run over. He visually looks at you and kills you. I'm gonna... It's going to be interesting watching 13 Steel Duck develop over time because, I mean, his movement looks very weird. Very not Samus. Not the Samus I'm used to. I agree. Yeah. I, and I kind of like it. It makes Samus look, like, spacey smooth. Like, did you see that, uh, what, no impact land off yeah. of the, the double jump? Yeah, that was clean. It's some goomy task combo nonsense. I love this. Working in the forward air a little bit, just trying to snipe Shaba from the plats like that. There's a little bit more percent. I was gonna say we might be start. Get, we might get a knockdown on Fox, which could lead to a lot. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. oh he actually lead. believed. <laughs> oh, the false missile. I'm gonna be honest. This is probably much scarier for Fox at this percent range oh, than it is for Samus. Shaba, don't go for the ledge dash. Although Shaba will. Shaba is a ledge dash abuser for sure. This. This has me tense. Yeah, I think Samus is actually like, yeah. That's a side view, right? Oh my goodness, going to the ledge is insane. Despite what the numbers say, Samus is still in the lead. <gasps> oh, that's a great snipe. Shabo clutches the shit out of that. But a uh, fantastic showing from 13 Steel Duck in that game. I was gonna say, Shabo was kind of running a little less on how to play Fox Samus, and then suddenly it was one stock high percent both sides. 13 Steel Duck looks chill, relaxed in the zone. Yeah, he knows that the YouTube video is being recorded as we speak. <laughs> Taking it to Fallon, okay. That missile seemed so unnaturally fast. Just wave dash off the platform and instantly was ready to shoot. They have the instant missile button download. It's a code, you can download yeah. it on box.com. I want to see some like horrific shit from 13 Steel Duck. 
If we're gonna get the Kellogg's box, like that guy with the skateboard controller, have you seen that guy? I have seen that, yeah. You wanna see some Mad Tyra stuff though with Samus? Yeah. I wanna see like 17 no input, like <laughs> reland nares. So a very good sign that Shaba knows what he is doing is when Samus is still in this prime crouch cancel percent, he's aerialing and then he's shielding. So he's like, you know what? I'm not gonna try to go for the combo necessarily. Get the hit, get the damage, and then just block Samus's counter. Because Samus is gonna be doing a lot of that. Take the hit, get countered. Yeah, and then you just fish for your back airs, your up tilts, and your up smashes. You really have to beat Samus by a thousand cuts, and I think that's the thing that frustrates me. It's just like, oh, you just gotta keep getting one hit, one hit. And one thing for sure that Shabo is abusing is that shield. That's part of that, just waiting Samus out. And to a certain extent, Samus is going to have to challenge that shield. Either with a grab or just getting around with pressure. Ooh, puts themselves in the corner. That's kind of scary, but it's all right. We're floaty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's like... the first time in my life I have seen Shabo mess up refresh invincibility. This guy is like Mr. Ledge, Bat, Ledge Dash in my brain. I'm, I'm telling you, this 13 Steel Duck, it's, it's just such a foreign object in Shabo's head. He's, he's losing his composure. He's he only like, knows fast faller. He's like this. No, I mean, even just like this specific Samus, he's like, this has to be illegal. Some would definitely say it is illegal. <laughs> there is a crowd begging this to be illegal. Nice. Very good snipe in the air. I definitely, I think I see the game plan change a little bit. I don't know the exact percent, but definitely when Samus gets in the air, yeah. Shabo's committing to these snipes, which is, you know, that's what you gotta do is Fox. I, feel like, uh, I can't believe that shield poked. Unless some absolute insanity happens here soon, I think Shabo's got some decent momentum. But 13 Steel that could just invent something right now. <laughs> he could literally install new software on his yeah. controller. The, the Gumi Court is going nuts right now. <laughs> Samus's roll looks like it takes a while, and then when you play her, it feels so fast. Like, right, you try to there? punish it, and then suddenly you get up beat, F smashed, and you're dead. <gasps> Good edge guard. Oh, Ooh. great angle from Shadow. The shangle, dog. The shangle. <laughs> Only in champagne. What do you think, shangle or the shabangle? The shabangle. <laughs> the shabangle. The shabangle is fire. Oh, my God. Yeah. Nice, nice top flat raise from 13 still duck. Only gets percent, though. Oh, I just thought about it. You know how, like, uh, Samus has a lot of aerial drift during the bomb? Yeah. Like, imagine that on the box. Like, what sort of nonsense you can get up to. You just go back and forth. Yeah. Instantaneously. That should kill. Yeah. He actually just waited there for, like, a solid second for 13 Steel Duck to come towards him. So, little known fact. So, Shadow got shield poked there. I didn't know this for a long time, but fire effects and moves have a higher chance of shield poking for Samus. Really? I don't know the exact mechanics, I just know it works out where fire moves kind of shield poke better. Yeah, something. so it's like the, you know, the corollary to electric moves can be SDI'd more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. That's really cool. We're just building nice. this compendium of fun facts because Samus is using forward air so much, there has to be something strange going on. Do you think it's more shield damage? It might be. It might just be something with the hitbox, too, on most fire moves. I want you to know right now, Joe, I would have died to that. Whatever I sorcery was about to go on, I think I would have died to. I like how Shabo gets out there. Oh, oh, he bamboozled him. Oh, my God. The up B catches Shabo. Oh, the, we're hearing the crowd wake up. Eyes. Yeah. Do you think, like, the box player is way more chill in this situation? Yeah. Because it's like you're typing in a message board. Yeah, right? Like, especially the way Shabo holds his controller, like, it's going to It's a grip. Him. There's yeah. a grip there. But 13 Steel Duck, look at that posture. Laying back. That's he's a lot typing a letter to his loved one. Yeah. He's just like, it's just very chill. I'm, I'm chilling right now. He's looking cozy in his little coat. Uh, so I assume we're going to see, what, 60 missiles? Probably. get the double missiles. You want some platform shenanigans? I would say this is the stage for platform shenanigans. So we're going to see a lot of projectiles. Um, I don't know. I feel like 13 Steel Duck just kind of took that game and we kind of just accepted it. It doesn't feel like a surprise. Yeah, so I think Comet was uh, 13 Steel Duck did get a really solid shield poke. And I think working that forward air a little bit more is sort of playing around Shabo's plot heavy neutral, for sure. Um, and then obviously I think 13 Steel Duck was just doing better at catching Shabo out of the air as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah just keep you know, firing the up smash. There's the first one doesn't Samus work. Do. The first one doesn't work, just do it again. Do you think the up smash, like, shield movement is enough to get you out of the up out of shield? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a Discord full of people who could tell us. Yeah, because I, I bet, like, uh, 13 Steel Deck has the shield DI in to still be able to get the up out I, of shield. You know what? I'm afraid to confirm it because someone will add us. 
Doesn't matter. You hop on Kami, <laughs> deactivate Twitter. Just move on. Mentions are off. Yeah, you can say anything. Just be like, oh, yeah, that should have killed, but he did three SDI inputs. <laughs> like, you can say anything. Um, I like that route. But, uh, I, the forward throw into the plat? Yeah, yeah, that was creative, actually. And I'm seeing a lot of what you said of just Shadow taking little cuts, little cuts, one at a time, because you don't want to get anti against Samus. Yeah, Shabo's just not able to avoid the damage like he was in previous games. It's harder to play that Thousand Cuts thing he was saying. That War of Attrition. Yeah. 13 steel deck with the first lead that they've... Well, I guess highest last game. But first OK lead in the middle of a game. Well, no. They're they're down like 100%. Oh, I totally misread yeah. the stocks. This is why we have co-commentators. Yeah, well, Shabo's cooking, and it feels like a lot of the momentum is on his side. But that's how it felt in the Fountain game. It felt like... He was in control the whole time, and the 13 seal deck just got like one big turnaround. And I think that's the uh, the plight of the spacey, you know? The yeah, you're gonna play like... fast, you're gonna lose fast for exactly. sure. Exactly. Oh, this might be a kill. Oh, great. I think it's the uh, downward angled forward tilt or like forward smash that actually hits below the ledge. Ooh, Shadow was not uh, or able to avoid the CC there, which kind of sucks. Did he just nair he through just like nair three th <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Never mind, Crush was wrong. My fault. That was insane. Next time Samus players complain, just like look at that clip yeah. and believe them. Just be like, I'm so sorry for what so you've gone through. <laughs> Damn, and also that air dodge was brilliant. Yeah, this is a great game yeah. for uh, Shabo. What do you think 13 Steel Duck goes? Should we just Thirteen? do Steel Duck? Steel Duck, yeah. You know, Steel Duck maybe going. We haven't seen any Yoshis yet. Like, Yoshis? Seen... Interesting. If, if they really want to get crazy with the, this movement. Do you think uh, Dreamland? Maybe Dreamliner is back to Battlefield, honestly. Yeah, because I think Yoshi's would be rough just how much like Shabo likes to put on percent and then fish for an up smash. And that's the, that's the scary thing, too, though. If you give Shabo that space on Dreamland, it's like not that much more fun. But I don't know. We're counting 13 Steel Tuck out. Yeah. But. but it feels like there's great momentum on Shabo's side because he has like 90% of the stage to just shoot lasers. Yeah, yeah. Goes to the plat, backs off. Kind of what you have to do against Samus. So I think this is a similar thing we're going to see in a potential Dreamland game. I could, yeah, I could definitely see that for sure. Oh, shoot. Damn, that had to be like what, 11 Galen. That was juice. Barely missing that grab and gets up tilted. It's interesting to see Shabo challenge Samus so much in the air. And like just win the exchanges too. Usually Samus is getting a trade or something, but. Shabo's avoiding it and spacing it so Shabba's well. Shabo's do, doing a lot of good babysitting and just waiting to like hit Samus when she runs out of options. Yes. The parents hired Shabo to babysit Samus today. He's like, hey, hey, 9 o'clock, your parents said bedtime. Come on. Hey, hey calls if you anything. Video game console off. That's good, yeah. All so right. uh, we'll probably see. I don't know, I'm feeling Dreamland. What are you feeling? You know, just for the sake of difference, I'm going to say Yoshi's. Yoshi's. But it's just to mix it up. Because you think if you take Shabba to Dreamland, he's going to play very similar to he just played on Stadium, which is going to be agonizing. It's just going to yeah. take twice as long. But which... Yoshi's, you can get up smash at like 18%. Ah, oh, you're right. We will be seeing Dreamland. If there is going to be a time for Shabba to work the plats, it's definitely the stage. Yeah, fun game for all the viewers at home to play is uh, just count how long it takes Samus to recover and see if you're able to get a snack from the fridge in the time that it takes her to get back. It's really fun. It's a fun little mini game you can play with yourself. For the floaties who get angry at Fox, uh, go get a snack when Fox full hops on the plat. That's yeah. that's your game. Don't worry. Yeah, like during this, you could probably get a snack and get back by the next time that Shabo hits 13 steel. We'll try to provide equal character hate for both sides. That oh is... my god. And on Dreamland, Fox only has 15. That is painful. Disgustingly early, yeah. This is looking good. I've seen a lot of sets like this where there's like a big shock in the first game. Like a, a blue lost like a random yeah. game to some ice climbers that was, it was Ham. Ham was fantastic in that first game. And then the player just kind of wakes up a little, you know, remembers the uh, the cookbook that they read, what they're supposed to do in these matches. Yeah, so I think in that uh, in the Fountain game, you know, uh, 13 Steel Duck was making some pretty good hard call outs when Shabo would go to the plat with their forward air. Even at Shield Poke. Uh, Shabo being so committed to full hop now, makes it where 13 Steel Duck has to commit that much harder to it. So if Steel Duck does miss something, he's going to eat a lot more. It's, it's going to make neutral a lot harder. Yeah, and it's like what you said of... Uh... Like, look at this. <laughs> yeah. That top plat has Shabo's name on it. Oh. 
Yeah. Which, no hate to Shaba. That's what you gotta do to these dirty mid tiers. It's what, uh, like what you said about like not taking the game to Samus. It's like, yeah. you don't deserve this. Yeah, this is, yeah. You, you lost the character's leg screen, essentially. Yeah, confident enough just to, just not feeling going out there for the edge guard. It's tough against Fox when you're Samus. Oh, yeah. you think an up smash out of shield would have worked there? Maybe. I don't know. I think part of what helps Shabo is he's not going for those iffy situations. Oh, sure. Because he's just like, you know, I'm Fox McCloud. I he's can like, just go away. 90% certainty or bust, you know? Yeah. Okay, what is everyone getting from the fridge? Okay, yes, next time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's uh, yeah, yogurt, we have time. there's uh, berries, you can always get... Oh, nice. Ah, that sucks. Just Samus not fast enough to get there in time to really do anything. Yeah. That's, that's very big lead. humongo. This is the point where we've been seeing Shabo get those edge or er, recoveries a lot. So this is just more, okay, I'm going to hit Fox and I guess he'll recover because he goes too far. That is a lot of power shields. So far, oh. Yeah, the counter pick is kind of working against Steel Duck now. Yeah, what do you do there? Yeah, it's just you get, it, it's, this is the percent. I've been playing a lot of Falco, and Fox at 150 just becomes borderline Peach or Did Jigglypuff. Did you go uh, Falco today? No, 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 not today. But just, you know, commenting for the experiment. Yeah. Stalling, just to let him know. Shabo wants to give more people, or people more time for their snacks. Yep. Shabo's taking his time. Even taking time on the Angel Plat. This guy does not leave Plats. At least not for mid-tiers. Mm -hmm. You did not earn this. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you you know who you're playing. You check, saw the tier list when you checked the tier list. What is the color of your tier on the Smash Wiki? Every mid tier knows what they're signing up for. Um, this this feels brutal. This feels pretty. This kind of feels close to bullying. Yeah. This is uh, what is that legendary like West Balls Armada set at yeah. Big House Four where West Balls just holds the top plat the entire time. You know, and there is a crowd right now who's probably upset Shaba, who is camping or whatever. And then there's a crowd who has been gimped by Samus at like 20%, who's like, yes, this is cathartic. But like, this is take, what they deserve. Take the time to meditate, you know? Like, uh, you know, eat the food that you bought to watch this tournament. You know, check if your Twitch Prime is available. Sub to twitch.tv slash mango. You know, everyone talk about how long they've been subbed to mango. Me personally, 84 months. That is so, uh, a big number. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, to play so much neutral, and then you just get a bared out. Yeah, this feels not doable. This feels very hard unless Dirk and Steel Duck like turns off like the limiters on the box control. And like even when Shabo does get hit, he's just like, oh I got hit, just jump away. You know, I got hit, but I'm not getting caught for it. So definitely makes it all that much more harder for Samus. It's it's insane that how often you can just go high against Samus. Yeah, I, I don't want every Fox main to pay attention to the usage of shield and plats in this set. This is like, I would argue textbook how you beat Samus' Fox. Yeah. Still though. And you know, it, it really limits the the quirk and entropy of 13 Steel Duck having like a box. That it's like, I'm just going to stand back and no weird shit that Samus can do is going to affect me. <laughs> I'm just not gonna let Samus play her game because her game is freaking me out. You know, it doesn't matter the tech skill you invent, the Gumi, the Gumi dashes that you do. None of it really beats. Wait, on top plat. Yeah. There's no tech to beat that. Yeah, it's like, oh, Doc learned up B cancel. It's like he has a shine out of shield. I'm just gonna up tilt and back air. I'm just gonna full hop. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold the Y button a little longer. Yeah. If it it beats like half the cast. If it ain't broke. <laughs> don't fix it. Like, oh, that's a neat tech skill you got. No, I don't need it. Well, this is the time where you definitely don't want to get too antsy. That's kind of what Samus thrives on. Because, you know, it's 80% Samus. Pretty good damage, but not out of the woods for sure. But you can see how hard Steel Duck is reaching. Like, Yeah, and he's it, being forced to. This feels frustrating. If Shabba just goes to time out of spite, that's tight. I almost think he might go to time just for spite. I kind of, I would almost like, like the commitment to the bet. Oh, man. Like, he's firing lasers at Samus at 130. What do those lasers do? <laughs> he's saying, eat shit. That's, <laughs> that's all he's saying. He's like, my projectiles can hit you, but yours can't hit me. Do you think this is like the stream runner's bane when there's like a player who's just like, I hate this character. I'm oh, just yeah. Gonna... Oh, yeah. It's like a, what, the, the Crush Ice Climber set where he'd kill Nana and just like wait. <laughs> but yeah, tough shit, man. Yeah, GG, not... GG's was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, probably by the time Samus gets back, we're looking at like 145. Doesn't need to try to do anything fancy on the edge guard. Just that play. might kill. <gasps> One more shark. 
would be wild if he got Now, it. how funny would it be if Shabo SD'd and then got down smash exactly. with the ledge? Exactly. Like, awful for Shabo, but like, for the rest of us, pretty funny. Wow. So we're probably going to get down to like, close to a minute. Like, at this point, why not? You know, do it for the culture. Do it for all the <gasps> box mates Imagine. who happen. Yeah, yeah, that should be it. Oh, oh my god, Shavo is ready to be done with that set. <laughs> Gonna hop off stage, go to his dark dungeon. The dark